I like the way that Mira's breed is wasn't afraid. Any fight final, any tournament in the world, but for these two. It left it all in he rig. took many of Yonio Dotico's best punches. Clear win for me. And Yonio Do Dotico's is exactly who I thought he was in regards to if somebody's able yeah. to take away his pretty much only significant dominant punch, that straight right hand, then... You know, they have a very good chance in defeating him. For me, the better clean Mirror's Breedis. Breedis. A brilliant contest. I enjoyed it. Like we say, it went went by so quickly. The aggression certainly with Dortokos. So if you prefer that, maybe you could have given him some rounds. But it's just the cleaner, better work from Breedis. Picking the shots. That's the word. Is It's effective aggression. Aggression yes. is misplaced. I agree. Is, uh, He's not scored and, well, he and he took the plenty, best shot of a to cut the ring off very dangerous punch. A boogeyman say, of how sorts. Clean, how effective were the shots? The memorable mm. ones, the flurries, the crisp punches that landed, that stay in the memory. I had my doubts. were from Myris Breedis. That mm. has to count for something. Certainly. So here, let's mute and wait for a decision. So if you don't know, this is season two, the actual last fight of season two of the World Boxing Super Series, which is also gonna be for that beautiful Muhammad Ali trophy right there. This fight, um, title-wise, is for the IBF and the ring magazine cruiserweight titles. And if I'm correct, will the WBC Diamond also be on the line as well? Which grants the winner of this a shot at the actual WBC title? Thing in boxing, Darren, is that nothing is We're going to talk about the Cruiserweight um, Season 2 tournament, which wraps up Season 2 as a whole. Remember, Inouye Inouye won the Bantamweight against uh, Nonito De Nair in the finals of the 118-pound Season 2 final of the World Boxing Super Series. Super Lightweight, 140 pounds. Josh Taylor, who I just covered just moments ago, finished up a video on him fighting his IBF mandatory. He won season two of the 140 pounders against Regis Progre. And now the final of season two was here. Now, I'm doubtful that there will be a season three, especially since um, um, Kali Sarlin, the um, chairman or whatever, or whatever you want to call him, he runs the World Boxing Super Series from what it looks like to me, you know, puts it all together once a heavyweight one next year but that's going to be difficult to put together especially with you know the major names involved that just don't see it you know i mean i'm not saying you can't put together a heavyweight tournament i'm just saying with big names i don't know i don't know so we're going to wait for them to read the cards and the whole ceremony he is ready let's head to him now of the world boxing super series here Cruiser weights. We're going to talk about the rankings as well. After Please 12 subscribe. Hours Listen of in. Boxing action. We go to the judges' scorecards. Totals: Michael Hook had it 117 to 111. Jörg Milke 114, 114 even. Matteo Montella 117 to 1. Somebody gasp right there. Ladies you and heard gentlemen, it? your winner by majority decision. The Muhammad Ali Trophy and the Ring Magazine Bell winner and the new IBF Cruiserweight champion of the world, Myrie's Reed! There we go, the right man got the decision. We're ready to get all three scorecards that uh, reflect what we've seen, but uh, not quite sure where 114-114 has, has come from. 17-11, perhaps uh, a little bit too wide, but more reflective of, of the fight we saw there. And ultimately, the right man has got the decision. Certainly, yeah. you know, the right man, in my opinion, won that. The right man got the, the nod there. Three this box so well. It was the deserved winner of that contest. But credit to Dorcos, he was there, he was aggressive. We're going to listen to the post-fight interview if they do have him. Likely right they will. Hand, it was a cute, clever boxing from Breedis that was stand out there. And what a career he's had. And You strap him up. I'm certain that Dorcos can come back. He's a very good fighter, very dangerous. My bad. Remember, the first season winner was, of course, Alexander Usyk. For me, Breedis. Who beat Breedis in will last year's tournament what in the finals. What a way to bow out of the sport. Is the desire there for either fighter? That has to be the question that... You ask at this stage of their careers, Breed is 35, Daughter Cost 34, two Super Series campaigns. And we mustn't forget they will have both earned a lot of money from these campaigns too, getting late in the Congratulations on your victory, Maris. Please give us your reaction to the fight. Oh shit, don't rush him. Let him get motherfucking strapped up. Shit. No. 
tā kā sapnī, viss notikās tā kā sapnī. Paldies sievai, kas bija klāt, paldies faniem, viss, kas bija tur pietrūku jūs ļoti, lai varētu mazliet vairāk uzprākt un darīt jums vairāk patīkam, bet nu, cerams, ka jūs esat apmierināti, paldies, un esam Latviju atkal pacēluši mazliet ērglis pāri no saustā. Koš krasāvā. So, thanks to, first of all, feels like a dream. Uh, first of all, thanks to my wife, thanks to everyone who was watching back in Latvia TV screen. I hope I made you proud and we made Latvia on wings again, as you can see on the belt. So, how proud you feel now to take the Mahavana Trophy home to her family and fans? So he first wants to touch it to understand how it feels. Please. Pauls. Oh, be careful. That joint is heavy, bro. See, he think he, he tried to fuck around with it. That trophy is beautiful, though. Slightly uh, disjointed interview there. And... Uh, Darren, we, we watched uh, the Olympic medal for us. Massive belt. Myers Bruce, uh, considerably good. Like man. with Olympic medal, you normally beat into it. It's a, a heavy bit of kit. It is. Ladies and gentlemen, the World Boxing Super Series Cruiserweight Champion, Myers Bruce. Happy for him. And he manages to lift it a lot. It is an unusual circumstance. And my bad, a lot of fights going on. Given how patient they've had to be. Ladies and gentlemen, this was a great night of boxing. Thank you for joining us tonight. Have a good night. Bye bye. Poison in there. And uh, yeah, as I mentioned, just uh, slightly cruel given how patient they've had to be and how long they've had to wait for this final to not be able to celebrate in front of what would have been a, a stellar crowd at the. Arena Riga and just maybe Darren if there is one motivation for him to come back and have one more fight it will be just to experience that one we're more gonna talk time. about the cruiserweight division for a little bit we yeah, have some um, intermission time electric. the fans really get behind him he's a superstar in Riga his home city and yeah for me what a fantastic way to bow out but when you're as good as Bredis and you have that support why not continue well Darren it has been an absolute pleasure to join you in calling another one of these stellar finals we hope you've enjoyed it whatever part of the world you've been watching in i'm chris lloyd from darren barker alongside me ringside from munich there is your winner super series season two cruiserweight champion ring magazine champion ibf champion and muhammad ali tournament winner myris breedis so let's talk about how he got here let's talk about how he got here now, as I said, season two, here was the first round. Miras Mir Brutus took on um, Noel Mc McAllion. I covered that fight. Now, I covered every single fight of the World Boxing Super Series season two um, in all three divisions. Junior De Tico in the first round took on uh, Machu's Masternak. I've covered him plenty of times before. Christoph Glowaski, number one contender for the WBO, took on Maxim Vos Vosloff. Of course, he won. And Andrew Tabidi had beat Ruslan Pfeiffer. In round two, Miris Bredis in a in an ugly fight, controversial decision. I finally got a chance to catch up on it, even though I covered the fight, but I forgot the exact outcome. Miris Bredis and Christoph Glowaski. That was eventually turned to a no contest, and basically Robert Bird, Miris Bredis. It just was a nasty, nasty affair. And that WBO title is now vacant and should have been on the line tonight, along with that IBF and that Ring Magazine. And Junior Dotico's had got one of the knockouts of the year last year against Andrew Tabidi. Put him like clean to sleep. And then, of course, the guys in the final. Miras Bredis was able to take um, Junior Dotico's best punches. And he is the victor. Now, looking at the Cruiserweight division as a whole, Miras Bredis will... I mean, I, I can't really say what's next. He doesn't have a mandatory. We don't know what's going on with Christoph, Christoph Glowaski and Lawrence Okali. I mean, are these two going to fight or what for that vacant title or what's going on with that? And him right here, I've been told to watch out for. I haven't seen too much. I've, I, I believe I've seen him fight before, but I have to really, really cover his next fight. So, Urson Gulamarian, his next fight, Whatever it is, in fact, let me see if, if anything's coming up. 
during the COVID area, I'm go era, I'm going to be covering his fight. 26-0 with 18 kills, last fought December 28th of last year. So yeah, we're going to be covering this because this is the future of the crew. These are the cruiserweights. So yeah, shout out to Mirrors Breedis. Um, Since I'm tight here on time and I want to get ready for the uh, Charlo pay-per-view, we're going to end it right here. And, you know, solid card overall. I didn't get a chance to watch the the Leon Bunn fight. No, I watched. No, I didn't get a chance to fully watch it. I did kind of want to do a, a, a post-fight video on it, but it is what it is. I'm T Street Controversial with FightView360.com. Please subscribe. And yes, Mirrors Breedis is next fights until whenever he loses and retires. We cover all Mirrors Breedis fights on this channel. There you go. Please subscribe.